Hello guys and girls and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines Park Life with me Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. So between episodes I've just done a little bit of work, just a teeny tiny bit and I've got a little bit more detailing to do, don't worry. We've got this sort of overlapping here. In fact, while I think of it, we are going to just move that back. I think that is all part of that. Yeah, there we go. So we put these in last episode. These are the old market street. Uh, you're not meant to be able to have two, but we've got the move it mod. So by by Bob, <laughs> what I was going to say there, we, we've added in two because I think it looks a lot nicer. And then it sort of left this built up bit at the back here, which I've added in some rocks and stuff like that. I just want to sort of finish off here. There is a load of new rocks and things that have been added. Uh, if you come right to the end here, these are pretty massive. That's these ones this side. But if you look at these ones, these were added. I'm not quite sure when these were added, but we've got a couple that can sort of... I think maybe just go down here. There we go. And then we'll just have a little bit of foliage. Let's make that normal brush size, normal brush strength, and just sort of fill that in. And that sort of looks... That looks okay, doesn't it? I like that. A little bit overgrown. But it sort of takes that difference here between the low and the high, which is what we had. Yeah, excellent. Very good. So that's that. So if you remember last time when we put these in, these give us a bonus of 5% to nearby commercial zones. So we are going to put a commercial district in there. This was all set to farming, wasn't it? Well, we're going to take that back to that road there. There we go. And we're going to add a new commercial district in here. There we go. This is called Hickory Hills. We'll rename that momentarily. Now, what can we do with this district here? I'm reckoning, because we've got these older style buildings down here, that we can go for organic and local produce maybe in this top half. And then for some nice posh stuff down there. So, in fact, we actually need... Uh, two different zones. So if I right click and whiz up here, well, is that going to give me a different zone over here? Or will that be exactly the same? Probably going to be exactly the same. Oh my goodness me. Right, let's do this. We go that way and then get rid of all of this. There we go. And we'll do a new zone in here. There we go. So we just sort of, what I do is I roughly draw in a zone like that. That'll give us a new one. Yes, excellent. And then right click and drag it across a road. There we go. And that will sort of tidy it up a bit, which is what we want. Excellent. Just want to get that. As soon as I get this near to there, it's going to jump across, but that's okay. Yeah, we'll go with that. Good. So Cedar Square and Hickory Hills. Hickory Hills is going to be, and yes, we've got Mars Radio on today, is going to be self-sufficient, yep, organic and local produce, self-sufficient buildings in here. So these are going to change, unfortunately, but that's fine. And then we're going to have, let's see, the roads come off the back here. So it's almost like an area you'd come down here and then come in and enjoy the markets. So what roads could we use? Something a little different. Um, oh, we haven't got all the extra little roads because we're not using mods. Ah, oh, darn it. Well, let's go with this one here. I want a road to come along here. So, if we sort of go like this to there, spin it round. There we go. Sort of meanders up round there. Something like that. Yeah, I may change that. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Then over this side, we're going to have just some straight roads. So let's make a little square sort of in the middle there. So it's going to come up this way to there. And then we're going to have a little square yep, around like this. Connect that up. There we go. And like a little market square in the middle. Whoop, auto save, sip tea. There we go. So we can have some shops in the middle here. So if we get all of that, they should start growing instantly. And then if we do the same here, but not that, not those. There we go. We should get some up there. They're all going to complain of water. No, they're not because we've taken care of that one. Excellent. And I'm hoping they're going to be self-sufficient buildings. Yes, they are. Excellent. That's what we want to see. And then we want to get a few more there. And because we don't have enough people, they're going to complain and say there's not enough people. So let us add some more people in. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking there's a ton of people all down this side here. 
this section here seems to me like it'd be a good spot for more people. What do we have here? We have commercial. Commercial be gone. You are all going to leave. Thank you very much. And we are going to do something here. This is going to be, I think, the start of our high-density residential zone. Because we need some. We're at 7,870. We're losing people. We need more people. So let us grab... I know we have highways. We're not using those just yet. We're going to start using the decorative trees. And we'll probably upgrade our road down there at some point as well. Let's go up to here. In fact, I might upgrade that now. Because that's going to increase the land value. Oh, let's just get rid of a rock. Darn it, game! You got rid of a nice big rock that I had there. Will that upgrade okay without getting rid of anything? <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yes, it did. Okay, we're fine. I mean, no, it didn't. It was fine. Uh, space already occupied. Really? Is it because of police station? For some reason. Let's move the police station over there. No. That one and then this one. It's like trying to do... Okay, hang on a sec. Let's... It's like there's a bit of an extra piece of road there that it's not liking. There we go. Let's do that. And then we'll move that back. Weird. I don't know. But there we go. Uh, let's fill that in. Excellent. Yep, everybody's fine with that. Good, good, good. Oh, we didn't get this bit, did we? <laughs> Why not? Can I upgrade this tile? Oh, what's happened there? Oh, it's like a bridge. Suddenly, we have a bridge. Do we really need that? I don't know, actually. We could leave it like that. Although, no, the entrance here doesn't connect properly now, does it? Oh, dear. Hang on one second. Let me just fix this. Okay, so now we have this area sort of marked out. What are we going to do in here? I'd like to add in some of the larger shopping areas. And something I want to test as well is I'd like to make this a park and see whether we can combine a park and zoning and other buildings. That's a question that I've been asked quite a lot. So let's give that a test. And you'll notice as you switch between the two types of districts, uh, they don't, um, they're, they're on different layers. So you can have your normal districts like that, and then you can also paint a park over the top. So we've got Hickory Hills and Cedar Squares. Um, I'm going to make this one another park as well, which means we're probably going to end up with two names in the middle there. But there we go. Hickory Hills and Highland Meadows. Yep. Okay. That's fine. Let's remove these bits down here. Got to keep things neat. Well, you know, as much as possible. <laughs> Not being too finickety about it. And let's get rid of that one. There we go. Excellent. So we've got Highland Meadows in here too. Is this going to be impossible to click on one name or the other? Uh, Highland Meadows. There we go. So that's got a park inside it. And let's see. Can we zone in here still? Yes, we can. So we can still zone. Let me click that. Yep. That's fine. That's no problem. So that's quite good, actually. So we can have this as a park. It'll have visitors. And they'll come and visit these uh, unique buildings as well. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Okay, let's find some cool shops that we want to add in here. Because don't forget, this is boosting our commercial. We have the Posh Mall. So this side, we've got like the self-sufficient, smaller type buildings. I'm wondering whether the posh mall and things can go into here. So it's sort of like a market feel, old town that side. And then a brand new, built up big town this side. And also with the river down here, we're going to do something over there. But we'll, we shall get to that. Let's do one thing at a time. So I'd like to actually build the posh mall into the middle. Let's grab this road here. Let's come off there. I'm going to go off at an angle. Yep. Like that. Oh, it won't fit in. Oh, I was hoping it would fit in there. Okay, let's take that down a bit. 
Let's come out of that. What, have we got surviving Mars music today? I was wondering what was going on here. So let's sort of keep that. Yeah, across there. Is that going to look... So if I stick the posh mall there, it's sort of sunken down into a, a little cleft. Cliff, cleft, cliff, cliff in the rocks, you know what I mean? But that's good. That's going to be getting a bonus. A very posh mall. And then we can sort of build around that as well to make it fit in better. What other unique buildings have we got? We've got the Mall of Motivation. Well, that can go this side. And that would actually fit, I think, in very well between these two. Let's move this over. You selecting that? Yes, we are. Let's put snapping on as well. I want that in the middle. No, okay. Can't do that with snapping on. Let's turn snapping off. There we go. Excellent. So that sort of fits. Yeah, that fits nicely there. I like that. Uh, let's speed up the buildings here. And I want to add a few more in here. We do have a need. So let's fill that in. And that in. And that in. Might as well fill all of that in. That's cool. And then what we can do is we can now add in some of the park items as well. To fill in the gaps around the back here. So... Let's see what we can do. Uh, what one should we go for? I mean, we haven't started with our nature reserve yet, but we're going to come back to that one. We've got our props. What's this here? Oh, modder packs. No, that's fine. Let's go for our city parks. And we're going to need an entrance. So let's have a small main park gate right next to this place here. There we go. That's good. And then we can run our path up the side. Oh, I can't wait to get toggle whiteness mod <laughs> and have that again so if we sort of come up to i'm gonna go to there and then I'll, oh yeah perfect along the back there and then we're gonna change that in a sec come down there yeah come along there and then we'll have that come along and attach to there so we're mixing in parks with commercial i'm quite liking that actually and i'm just wondering whether these corners here Ah, oh, okay. I wanted just to take out a smaller part so we could put a nice curve in the corner there. Maybe if I just sort of go up to one square back from the end there. And the same there. Let's get the curve tool. Perfect. There we go. Let's do that. So let me ask you a question. While I'm, while I'm fiddling around and building here, let's go straight again. What would you guys say to me picking up planet coaster again I, i've sort of got the the urge to do to do building and creating and i'm gonna go a tiny bit further with this one how would you feel about that let me know in the comments below <laughs> it still doesn't look like it's lined up right let's sort of jump in from here to there we'll go with that one uh, i found some absolutely amazing scenarios in the pack that i want to try out there we go. Some really cool themed maps. So let me know what you think below. Would you watch Jurassic, uh, Jurassic Park? <laughs> that is one of the scenarios I looked at. Would you watch Planet Coaster? Let me know. Let me know. Right, let's, let's remove some of these trees. We'll come back to putting some of those in. Uh, that's to do with that building. That's a tree. Have I got... No. For a minute there, I thought I had prop anarchy on. There we go. So now we can start sort of filling some of these spots here. I'm actually going to put... I'm deliberately going with the non-tree version of path. Just to sort of see what it looks like. That won't connect there. If we go up to there... How does that look? It sort of connects. Let's try that again. Can you connect where I want, please? There. And then we'll press T and get that as close as we can. That is about as close as it will go. Okay. Yeah, we'll connect one there. And let's have a look. We'll do... Whoa, we've got fires going on in here. We'll go there as well. And you know what? I might just add a little square there. And then not quite the same size square there. Okay, excellent. And then around here, we could have... Do I want a sort of a plaza anyway? We could put something over there. But I'm thinking maybe like the shops and the cafe and stuff like that. So if we go with... Let's get as close as we can. Go with the cafe there. Uh, the restrooms. They're always at the beginning of the park. You come in, use the restroom, and you run off and have fun. <laughs> info booth. Yes. Yeah, so you're going to come in the gate there. And you want to walk past the info booth. We'll come back to the chess boards and stuff. 
Oh, yeah, I'm liking that. I'm like, whoa, hang on. That's not good. All the trees have been burnt down. Darn it. What we could do, you see, we could use this little space in here. If we add in... Let's go back to... We'll do the one with the tree for here. It's a shame it won't sort of build off of that road. If we go from... Okay, let's turn off road guidelines. Let's go from there to as close as it will let us. And then go, yeah, out like that. So now we have access to this area here. That's actually wider, isn't it? Let's get that the same width. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. It's going to go into there. Yep. There we go. Perfect. And then what can we add in here? Park Plaza. How big is that going to be? Oh, that will be perfect. Let's add in... Right up to the side, like that. A couple of Park Plazas. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it looks a bit like on five at the moment but you know ignore that it'll be fine and then maybe like a little restroom yeah let's go restroom all the way up here in the middle of the park that'll be good then we can detail that with some trees and then what about like some plazas and things over here mm, we're back up to our props what have we got trampoline park kiddies park climbing frame yeah let's put in put that there that there, and then we could have a couple of small gazebos in the middle. Yeah, that looks good, and that just oh, auto save, sippity. So what do you think of mixing a park in with shops or residential? I mean, you can now go ham with these parks and put them wherever you like. And I really think it adds something nice to the area to be able to sort of mix these two in. Particularly when you've got these self-sufficient um, commercial things. Because you get like these little eateries and stuff like that where people can come. Then they can come in and visit the park. You've got a cafe. It's, it's a bit weird having like this one in here. <laughs> the ca charging your cars right inside the park. But, you know, that's just the way it is, isn't it? But I like this. This has worked out nicely. 
And it's just another little addition to the internal areas of your park. Kids can come and play. I like these. Doesn't really matter that they don't match up perfectly because of the crazy paving sort of style. Uh, it'd be nice when we'd be able to get them to sort of fit corners like this. Um, but, yeah, can't do that just yet. When mods get adjusted, we'll be able to do that. I like it. And you've got a little, little park area here as well. You can come and sit, enjoy your lunch, and enjoy your day. I think that looks really, really cool. And, of course, we need to name our park. And I've randomly picked one of the names from those that are supporting me on Patreon. And this is going to be Prince Fewer Park. There we go. Thank you very much for your support on Patreon. For the cost of one cup of tea a month, you can support me, my channel, my family. Let's do that name again and press enter this time. There we go. Park. Excellent. Yes. So links below if you wish to check that out. We're going to drop that down to $5. Um, ooh, Monk Park. Yeah, it's doing well. Low Tax Park is nearly there at level 5. Let's have a quick run over here. What are we waiting for? Oh, it needs a bit more entertainment value and then it will upgrade. Okay. Let us quickly do that then. So what can we add that we haven't added in here yet? I didn't realize our entertainment wasn't good enough. Well, I do apologize. Uh, I think we have all of these items in there. Piggy train. Let's just make sure. Yeah, there's the piggy train. We have the teacup ride. We have the swinging boat. That's over there. Yeah, we have that one. What's this one here? Bumper cars. We have that. We don't have the drop tower ride or the pendulum ride. I might just put those down just so it unlocks. And then we can move those later. In fact, that probably fit in. Quite nicely, right on the edge of this little lake area here. What about that? Yeah, we'll definitely we'll definitely work on making it look nicer. But I want to just upgrade this to the next level so we can get all the cool stuff. So what's that? One nine five five out of two thousand. We are so close. Oh, it needs some underground power cables. There we go. My prop and tree anarchy on. Stick it under the path. No. Okay. When that gets fixed, we'll be able to do that. Uh, prop and tree key on, put it under there. Will that make it jump across? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Hopefully that's out of the way. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Look at those poor people. Woohoo. <laughs> Excellent. I'm loving that. Okay, yeah, we need to add one more thing. Yeah, we need to add one more thing. As soon as we put this last one down, it's going to upgrade us. Here it is. The pendulum ride. Where could we put that? We've got this little spot over here. Oh, actually would go against there, but that's no good, is it? Maybe we could just do something with the path here. Let's see. If we bring that over, bring that over right up against the side of the... There we go. And bring this one over. And then if we straighten this out just a touch, I bet we could get it in there. There we go. Let's try that. Oh, it's going to remove our road. No. Okay, I think I've got it now. I've been fiddling with the path. Yeah, there we go. Let's slide that in there. There we go. The pendulum ride. And then, of course, we can detail around that later. I believe we've just updated. We have the roller coaster and the Ferris wheel. We've reached level five on two parks. Absolutely fantastic. Let's have a look at the stats. Yay, there we go. Excellent. Maintenance isn't so great, but that's fine. We've got zero on here. Well, we're going to update that now. Upgrade it. Up whatever the word is. That's going to be 30 simoleons. Haha, <laughs> I know that's the wrong game, but that's what I call it anyway. Cool. Two level five parks. Absolutely excellent. Visitors are going up nicely in here. Let's put that back down. I don't think that's like a $40 park. Let's make that $10 to get into there. This is $30, although that'll probably end up going up. This one here, we haven't set this as a price. Uh, there it is, Prince Fella Park. If we can get the name. Oh, there we go. $5, yeah, that's, that's about right. Excellent. It's got plenty of attractiveness, uh, entertainment to upgrade. So that will slowly upgrade over time as well, which is really, really cool. I'm loving putting these little parks in amongst the area. I was thinking of building up some rocks around here with some caves and stuff like that. And then trying to sort of put the roller coaster in the middle of all that. I took a quick look at the roller coaster. We're not going to place it down today. So we've got the Ferris wheel. 
which is nice and big. The roller coaster is pretty huge. If we can sort of build a a rocky castle something around that, we'll try and find out. We'll try and do what we can. Excellent. Well, thank you very, very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hit the big B with the tea stain to subscribe if you wish to see more. I didn't realize that road there is not connecting over there. I'll get that fixed. And also check out some of the other videos on the screen as well. I'm sure you will enjoy those. And I will see you all very soon for the next one. Well, in fact, tomorrow. <laughs> see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.